today we are going to be going over day one of our beginner's curriculum. In day one of our beginner's curriculum, we're going to be focused on basic boxing and we're going to be using partner drilling or Dutch style drilling in order to do this. Round one is going to be all about the jab and very basic context about the jab. Uh, I like to give a few cues when throwing the jab. Cue number one, I'm going to push off my back foot. Okay, as I do this, cue number two is going to go right into play. I'm going to step with my lead foot and that's just to counteract cue number one. So I'm going to take this step just like so. Okay, as I take this step, cue number three activates and that's going to be my lead hip is going to pop forward. Cue number four is I'm going to rotate at the shoulders and then as I rotate the shoulders, my arm is going to extend. So I push off the back foot, step with the lead foot, pop the hip, rotate the shoulders, just like so, okay? As I do this, my arm extends out and I'm going to snap at the point of contact. I don't wanna push through his glove, I wanna snap right at the point of contact, turning my hand over to 45 degrees, making sure my top two knuckles are uh, snapping right on, okay? So again, just showing this, again, it's gonna be partner drill, so we're gonna go back and forth, push, step, hips, shoulders, and I snap the jab, and I come back. Now, Coach Eric goes, and right back, okay? Another bonus cue that I like to use is I wanna make sure that I follow the same path back as I did forward, and what that means is I don't wanna throw this jab, and then I drop it down here to bring it back to my face. I don't want it to travel any other way, but right back to my face. I shoot it out, I come directly back to my face right here. That's gonna be round number one. All right, so round two, very simple, is we're just gonna go over the cross. And we're gonna go over the cross as an individual punch to start before combining it with our jab. Very simple with our cross. Again, I love to give cues to our students. Cue number one, my rear heel is going to rotate out. As this happens, cue number two, I push my hip into the punch. Cue number three, rotate at the shoulders, much like the jab. And again, what I'm doing is I'm pushing my arm out and I'm snapping at the point of contact. I'm not trying to push through his punch here or through his hand. I'm trying to snap right at the end, turning my hand over to at 45 degrees. So again, cues I like to give, I go rear heel out, hip engages, shoulders rotate, and I turn over and I snap right at the end of this punch. Again, I give the bonus cue from time to time that I like to follow the same path back whenever I throw this punch. So again, partner drill style, we're here, I shoot my cross, Boom, right back. Now Coach Eric goes, right back. Very simple drills for your students. All right, so for round three, very simple. We are gonna be combining rounds one and rounds two. So we're gonna throw our jab and our cross simultaneously. The idea though, is that we wanna make sure that we're still following all the cues that were given in the first two rounds. So very simple, we're in our stance here. I'm going to, again, follow my cues, pushing, stepping, hips, and shoulders. I hit my jab, right off of the jab, I rotate the heel, engage the hip, rotate the shoulders, shoot the cross, and then again, right back to my stance. Then Coach Eric will go and throw the jab, and then the cross, and then I'm back here. For your more advanced students, you can have them do it a little faster to where I'm here, and I go, jab, cross, right back. And he goes, jab, cross. For your white belts, let's make sure that we are following all the cues and we're going one shot at a time. Jab, cross, right back. That's round three. All right, for round three, we're just gonna go over the basic hook, but there is a different drill that I like to use, especially for our beginners when throwing their hook. One thing that you'll see when people throw their hook a lot is that they widen out here and then their arms coming super far out wide, just like so, in order to hit this hook. There's a simple drill I like to do that helps keep it in tight, and Coach Eric's gonna show it right now. He's gonna hold this arm up directly in front of my face, this hand right here, and his head's gonna be back a little bit just in case. You never know with beginners, sometimes they can swing a little wide and, and it gets a little scary there. But very simple drill, what I like to do is I tell my students, pretend as if you threw the cross, but don't stick your arm out. So I come to this finished position right here. Now when throwing my hook, all I'm gonna do is punch this hand on this other side. I'm gonna rotate back. Again, heel is gonna rotate to the ground. Hip rotates back, rear shoulder pulls back and lead shoulder punches forward. As I do this, I hit my hook just like so, making sure that we connect just like this. Then on my return, I just follow right back into my stance just like so. So step one is always gonna to be to load this punch, okay? Again, I'm going to shift my heel out, 
rotate the hip in, load the shoulders just as if I threw my cross, like so. Now from here, I rip everything back. Heel to the ground, hip back, shoulder back, and rip this shoulder forward just like so. I hit my hook and I return back to my stance. For this round, what I like to do is I like to let one student go for half of the round and then the other student go for the other half of the round. That's gonna be round four. All right guys, so for round five, we're gonna be combining all the individual punches that we've worked all together into one. So our jab, our cross, and our lead hook all into a basic combination. So very simple, again, doing this touch style and, and we wanna make sure that we're focused on our cues every time that we do this. So with your white belts, have them take this a little bit slower. Have them throw the jab to start, then follow that up with the cross. Then right from the cross, they rotate the heel back and they shoot the hook right off of that. For your gray belts, people who've maybe done this for a little bit longer, you can have them throw, jab, cross, hook, and then right back into their stance. Very simple. But again, we're partner drilling, so we're gonna go back and forth on this one, unlike our previous round. So I throw my jab, cross, hook, then Coach Eric throws his jab, cross, hook. Very simple, easy to understand for your students, and this way we can continue to progress them. That is gonna be round number five. All right guys, round six, we're gonna be focused on the rear uppercut. Now it's not a punch that we throw a lot, and for beginners, it's not a punch that they're gonna use very much, but we still wanna make sure that we touch on it. So, with our rear uppercut, again, we like to give cues, and a lot of the cues are gonna simulate what we did on the cross, okay? Starting off, I wanna get to the rear uppercut position. One thing I don't like is people who throw the rear uppercut by dropping their hand here and shooting it up, trying to make it into an arm punch. I want to make sure that I position my body correctly, that way I'm using my full body on this uppercut. So to start, I like to drop my level just slightly, just a little bit here. Okay, as you notice, my shoulder kind of dips, my lead shoulder pops up and I'm dropping with my knees here. From here, I've entered the bottom of what I call the U. And what I'm going to do is dip a little bit more with my hip and then start to explode up. Once I reach the bottom of this U, my heel is pivoting, I just explode out of this position, pushing my hip up and exploding my hand straight up just like so. Again, I wanna make sure that I'm bouncing this punch. I'm not trying to shoot it to the sky just like so. I wanna bounce his head up with this punch. So again, getting into position is number one. I'm going to drop my level just a little bit, making sure my hand stays close to my face. I don't wanna drop here and leave myself open. My hand stays close to my face, from here, I rotate the heel out, dropping into the bottom of the U. From there, I explode up, boom, with my uppercut. Right here, I don't overextend. I make sure that I make contact, popping the head up, and I return right back to my stance. This is the one time that I do not follow the same path back. I do not want to hit this uppercut just like so, and then return back like this, okay? I want to make sure I hit this uppercut, and I go directly back to my face just like so. So one more time. Okay, again, partner drill style. I'm going to dip, lower my level, rotate the heel out while dropping to the bottom of the U and then explode right out of here with that uppercut. And then Coach Eric goes, he shoots the uppercut. I go back and forth just like so, partner drill style. That's gonna be round number six. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go into round number seven. Round number seven, we are going to work all of the individual strikes into one combination. So very simple, again, for your white belts, have them take this very slow and make sure that we're setting ourselves up for the following strike. So starting off, very easy, I'm gonna start by shooting my jab, hitting all of the cues that we had talked about before. Off of the jab, I go right into my cross. Right off of this cross, into my lead hook. Now what's important about this is when I shoot this lead hook, I've already lowered my level, setting myself up for the next punch, which is the rear uppercut, okay? And then I shoot my rear uppercut just like so, okay? Then Coach Eric will go, he shoots the jab, he shoots the cross, the hook, and then the rear uppercut right off of that. For your gray belts, they can go a little bit faster. Again, jab, cross, hook, rear uppercut, back to the stance, then Coach Eric will go back and forth just like so, making sure that we hit all of the cues from all the rounds before. That's gonna be round seven. All right guys, so for round eight and our final round of day one, we are gonna do the same thing as round seven except we're gonna to switch to the punches. So, what we're gonna start off with is we're gonna start off with our jab, okay? Now again, follow all the cues that we've talked about before. So I shoot the jab, but one thing different that I'm doing here is I'm lowering my level on this jab. 
because my follow-up punch is going to be the rear uppercut from here. So now I throw my rear uppercut, load my side over. From here, my follow-up punch is now the lead hook and then the cross right off of that, okay? And then Coach Eric will go. He'll go jab, rear uppercut, lead hook, and then cross. And now again, for your gray belts, they can go a little bit faster with this. They've had more reps with it. So again, they can go jab, up, hook, cross, back to their stance. Jab, up, hook, cross, back to your stance, okay? Very simple, make sure that you guys are setting yourself up for the proper punch that follows. That's gonna be round eight.